ladies and gentlemen, you know, anytime Trump puts out the word about deporting illegal immigrants, that means it's about to go down. The last time he went on TV and complained about these illegals, ICE went out there in full force all around the country and nabbed the, <laughs> these people and got them the hell on out of here. Well, he took to Twitter last night and he already put the word out about deportations beginning next week. So, ladies and uh, gentlemen, the closer we get to election time, the more you're going to see this go down. Trump wants to get reelected, and he knows one of the things his base likes is him dealing with these illegals. So he's going to go full force after them from this point all the way into the elections. So this came out on CBS News, June 18th, 2019. Trump says millions in U.S. illegally to be removed starting next week. Trump says millions of people living in the country illegally will be deported beginning next week. In a pair of tweets Monday night, the eve of formally announcing his reelection bid, Trump said U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, would next week begin the process of removing the millions of illegal aliens who have illicitly found their way into the United States. They will be removed as fast as they come in, he wrote. So here's his tweet, which went out June 17th, 2019 at 9.20 p.m. So his first tweet, next week, ICE will begin the process of removing the millions of illegal aliens who have illicitly found their way into the United States. They will be removed as fast as they come in. Mexico, using their strong immigration laws, is doing a very good job of stopping people. And then he sent out another tweet, long before they get to our southern border, Guatemala, is getting ready to sign a safe third agreement. The only ones who won't do anything are the Democrats in Congress. They must vote to get rid of the loopholes and fix asylum. If so, border crisis will end quickly. So, you know, it's amazing how these illegals will come to this country and hate on the black community. But the people like Trump will show you in actions that they don't like you, they don't want you here, and they will snatch your ass where you stand and get you to hell on out of here. An administration official told the Associated Press the effort would focus on the more than 1 million people who have been issued final deportation orders by federal judges but remain at large in the country. The official spoke on condition of, okay, so they're trying to stay anonymous. Okay. The largest number of people deported by ICE was 409,824 in 20. 12. It is unusual for law enforcement agencies to announce raids before they take place. ICE rarely announces operations in advance, especially large scale ones like the one Trump addressed. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of agree with that. He would have been better off not really saying much about it on Twitter. Now you kind of tip people off. And what a lot of these illegals do, they'll stop showing up for work because they think ICE is coming for them. Because a lot of them get nabbed on their jobs. And, you know, being that Trump said something, you know how they do it. They do it to the farmers all the time. They just up and disappear if they think ICE is coming. And you think they won't do that if the word gets out that ICE is coming? Of course they will. The Washington Post reported in May that before the ouster of then 
Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen, the White House push DHS, which oversees ICE, to conduct a sprawling operation targeting undocumented immigrants in major cities. That operation would have entailed the arrest of as many as 10,000 immigrants, not millions. Any such massive deportation blitz would affect not only undocumented immigrants with pending removal orders, but millions of mixed status families with members who are US citizens, particularly children. In some, Mr. Trump administration believe decisive shows force, such as mass arrests can serve as effective deterrence, sending a message to those considering making the journey to the US that it is not worth the effort. Trump has threatened a series of increasingly drastic actions as he has tried to stem the flow of Central Americans migrants um, across the southern border, a flow that has risen dramatically on his watch. He recently dropped a threat to slap tariffs on Mexico after the country agreed to dispatch its National Guard and step up coordination and enforcement efforts. A senior Mexican official said Monday that three weeks ago, about 4,200 migrants were arriving at the U.S. border daily. Wow, that's a lot of people. And that the number has dropped to about 2,600. Also on Monday, the U.S. government officially announced it would cut millions of dollars in foreign aid to Central America, warning governments that the region that assist will only resume when they do more to prevent their citizens from migrating. The move which the president ordered in late March disrupts a longstanding pillar of American foreign policy supported by most Democrats and Republicans in Congress. Yeah, see, you know, they will defend an immigrant over people in our community, ladies and gentlemen. The illegals, remember, they got sanctuary cities, counties, and states. We have sanctuary nothing that's going to protect us. We have no protection from law enforcement like they do. Lawmakers had been urging the administration to reverse course, fearing the end of American assistance will only exacerbate the, I'm sorry, exacerbate the rampant poverty, deep-rooted political instability, and widespread insecurity in El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala collectively known as the Northern Triangle. Immigration was a central theme of Mr. Trump's 2016 campaign. And you can best believe these deportations are going to go on, off and on leading up to the election because Trump knows his base, this is what they want to see. And he's going to go full force on this between now and the 2020 election. You're going to see him grabbing up these illegals left and right now. And he's expected to hammer it as he tries to fire up his base heading into the 2020 campaign. Exactly. You're going to see this going on a lot from now until the election. And probably even after the election, he'll still be doing it you know, just to show his supporters that he means business on this whole thing. Trump will formally launch his reelection bid Tuesday night at a rally in Orlando, Florida, a state that is crucial to his possible path back to the White House. So there you go. These illegals are out of here. Starting next week. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen.
please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.